What is happening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to 7 Days to Die. This is going to be a, se a series I'm about to start on building this mansion here completely from scratch from the foundations up and once we're finished with the mansion, once we've got all the interior stuff built and set up, I will work on building a base, completely, a, basically a full sized base. And I will show you the land in a bit. But right now I'm just walking about the man the mansion on the other world. Just to give you a rough idea on the rooms, the size, and basically how basically just showing you the before, right? Before I build it for scratch, just what the game's template house is. So as we walk about. How I measured this house was quite it's a simple thing, it's look well it's completely simple. All I did was walk around the sides of the building, counting the blocks. I count one side, count the other. Let's say I count the left side. Right, I don't count the right side because obviously the right side will be the same size. And I'll count down the way. And if I think it's I just count down then it makes sure if everything's the right size, I just then build that up 18 by 18, that's the size of the building I got the wee office room set up, that was the first room I did when I was first building, I wanted to get an idea of this is the base what I'm building here after the mansion's finished, dig a trench line there down for there I was, I might dig it further out and take care of the two wee island, put green grass islands, but I might make the big base too big. Uh, so, that'll be for the near future. But, it's just, seven days to die's building system I like. Mainly because, look, you can build blocks, look, actual full, I think it's just log ca cabin blocks. And, look, it does, look, it is, a good system because it, I don't know I think it's a bit realistic look when you pray place place the frames you place the frames down and you're basically hammering them the best thing you upgrade is definitely the best thing you use to upgrade is the hammer you can upgrade with the hammer the wrench I think I think the wrench only does metal objects instead of oil them I'm not too sure if somebody knows anything about that please write in the comments below as well but it is definitely, it's a good system, I do like it. It's one of the th look, many things I like about 7 Days to Die. The thing in 7 Days to Die I like is, probably, look, gameplay wise. The game, look, as I read through it, it was meant, look, when I got the game on PC, I knew the game was a bit, look, hard, because, look, obviously. <laughs> that they try and make it a realistic zombie survival game and they've done quite a decent job in it but it is definitely a quite a decent job they've employed physics and stuff all the blocks have its own weight on what how many blocks you can place out for it so say I build a pillar I can only build a certain number of blocks and if you place it too far the two blocks you place or maybe all the blocks just collapse and it's quite realistic in that sense as well. The game has an ex a really expansive leveling system as well. It's quite good. The one thing I hope they do in future but is servers. Proper servers instead of peer to peer. But sometimes I think people are just wee gold diggers man. <laughs> they join your game at day 65 and they're like here mate can I live with you for a few weeks? Like you gonna pay the dig money? No mate. Well, you can fuck off, sir. Know that paying dig money's a bad thing, but I'd like to have a full young team of people that know what they're doing, no? A full young team of people that just want to use my resources, man. Come on. But it is good helping randomers in this game. It is good. I gave one randomer a place to, out to live in that mansion. He was in the He's in the room above the kitchen. So, I'm nice and gain people hussies. 
Another thing that's uh, one thing the game does set its music, but the game's music is on point because it just randomly occurs, random noises just occur, and I shit my pants. No, even a joke, because I'm sitting there pure tuned in, hitting my wood, and then next minute that note and any type of noise that the music comes on, it's just, <laughs> it's just, oh god. I can't think of the word for it, I really can't, it's just fear inducing, then on day 7 you forget it's day 7 and you hear the whole scream man, oh Jesus. That's a truser filler indefinitely. But resource gathering as well in the game is definitely a good thing as well. Look, not really a good thing but it is a look, decent system. Just hit the block, the block has health, hit the for the set number of time and you get quite a lot of wood for it. And then when you destroy the block, you get more wood. So I've collected enough wood now and by the power of video editing, I skipped ahead to where I seen a large bear on the way back. But another good thing it <coughs> the one thing that is good with the game is the map. See for random gen, look this is what this map is on random gen. Look it's, I don't know how, but it feels like the game just wants to spawn you quite close to a town, man. Because I, I don't know if it's just a thing that spawns you close to a town, but from like, for the, twi the two times that I've made a random gen world, I've been quite close to a town or, s or some sort. The one thing I just want to find is the, uh, what's it called? Oh, what's the name of it? The main city, look, the central city of the map. Because that has a hospital and a few other buildings, that, look, I think quite good resource buildings in it. So, looking forward to finding that. But that'll be for the future. The office building I might use for a mini bike storage room. That might be a thing. What I hope to see in the future for 7 days to die is cars, look, driving the motors a bit, because that would be good. Look, just building a motor look, the way you would build a mini bike. Build the frame, then build the doors, build the seats, build the trunk as the Americans like to call it. Or the boot if you're in Scotland. Uh, aye, the boot, that's just... <laughs> That's just our word for the trunk or the back of the motor is, as well as another word. So you're getting taught Scottish people. It's just so if you're ever in a party with Scottish people and they're saying stuff that you're completely fucking confused about, you'll know what they're saying thanks to the educational purposes of this video. <laughs> the one thing as well that I would like for you lovely people that own 7 Days to Die <clears throat> is I'd like to recruit you for guard duty. Well, this series goes on. No for random players, no, I don't bother my ass with random players because they don't know where I am. But, against zombies, because this, I'll basically explain it now. So, as I was building this wall, just getting this wall set up, I was just casually, I should, I think I should have started with the wall first and the trench and that, but I wanted a house to get all the resources and stuff put in, so the house was more important. So as I was here, just minding my own business, looking about, I decided to come up here, go to about, place these two blocks, and as I got back to the stairs, I think, I got back to the stairs, and a horde came, just random wee horde, and I was raging. So I decided to upgrade these blocks, as you do. So I like to get, that's the thing we build in this game that I like, just this here. It looks so simple but it's just that wee bit of realism that just makes it quite look more enjoyable for me. And because it spends your resources as well, so if you've all look, say 3000 wood, 
and you use half of that for pil- uh, these frames, and you can only upgrade like a few of them, man. Because it's ten each pillar. So as I was going down here to place down uh, the stairs, after this wee room, obviously. That's the thing as well, look, this, the first room, my room basically on the long map, this is just the easiest room to do because, look, obviously, that's already been templated out by the stairs and the part for the stairs. It's the one above the kitchen and the one next to it, look, the one with the gun safe, that's the one that's got to be hard. So as soon as I place this block here, I hear all sorts of zombies. No, it's not this block. Right here, a wee young team come, and this is why I need you lovely people to be guard, to be basically the sentries, and to warn off attacks. That is the important thing. So if you're interested in this dual position, Please feel free to join the game when you see me on 7 Days to Die. Send me a message saying, hello, I am here for the guard duty and I will just say, you are hired, my man. I will basically give you my coordinates and the al do the ally thing so you can see where I'm in the map. And basically use defend me against zombies. I build the house, make the series. And... Everybody wins except the zombies, which is a good, a good system to be in. Definitely. <clears throat> the one thing I've noticed for this town as well is it has a bank. I didn't know there was actually banks in this game <laughs> until I was randomly walking about here and I just seen it. I was like, well, hello. <laughs> But the one thing that very it is very rage inducing is when you're building and a horde comes. Especially the dogs, the dogs are the, honestly the worst ones to actually square go with. Mainly because they can well, they do quite a lot of damage, but they're weak. They do a lot of damage, but they're quite, but they're no as strong as like, the other zombies, for instance. These wee spider zombies, they do my nothing, man. They make loud screams. <laughs> they're basically screaming pains in the arses. That's the way I see it. And I thought this wee wooden club would do the damage, man, and just save me, and then all these zombies came, and I thought, oh, this was it, this was the end of days for me. And I just realised my bedroll was right there. <laughs> so if I died, I'd be spawning there and dying in the same place, man. Live, die, repeat, live, die, repeat, until I can run away. But right here, I thought, of, this was definitely when I thought the end was nigh, so I sprinted out the door and saw fucking turbo tits here coming towards me. Now these guys are a pain man, these guys take a lot of bullet, like, a lot of handgun bullets and a lot of SMG bullets to take out man. But if you've got like 7.62mm man, the sky's the limit on how much damage you do today guys. But obviously I've no got a hunting rifle, sniper rifle or AK-47 so I'm a bit on the lowest side. The hunting rifle I quite, the hunting rifle I like because it looks like a car 98 and it just looks so nice man and as you all know I'm a big history geek so I like that because obviously history <laughs> but I think the worst part about that was the gunfire was drawing male zombies to me and it was quite raging was because well I wanted to get back building and I couldn't get back building because all these zombies and I die again and then that was oh that was the end was now that was me just activating beast mode there Watching these zombies all feast upon me, man, that was when the spark just lit, man, and beast mode was activated. <laughs> and after you do this wee anime, look, that's the thing, see, when you die in this game, you start off with 100 health, but if you die, what, a few times, man, you get picked into 70 health. It's not bad, but it's no good either, because you're quite low health and you get killed easily. You could also, but if you save up your vitamins and everything that gives you wellness, plus wellness, 
it serves you quite well. It boosts your health and your stamina up. The best thing I'd say if you're good at collecting resources is when you're about to start, drink beer or I think it's grain alcohol and it just gives you a unlimited health. Basically gives you unlimited uh, stamina until for a brief period of time. I don't know how long it is exactly. So as I was battling through zombies through the dead of night, um, I was... The reason that they're no sprinting towards me is because it's own classic zombies, so classic zombies as you know is just, they walk and that's it, they just walk. <laughs> Which is good because I would have died more than fucking t what, tw three times I think I died. I probably died twice but I'm saying three times anyway just to be on the safe side. But right here this was the gutting part because I was... Well, as I was beating these zombies here, right, I didn't realise the world behind me wasn't loaded. And it's, it was quite gutting. Mainly because I didn't expect it and... Look, I froze and it did, a, it did a great service as well. It did a great service. I ran out hoping. I just ran out thinking that was loaded. It spawned, it just glitched me back here. They two zombies were glitched as well because they couldn't really move anywhere. So as I ran back to get my first aid kits because they are definitely the things you want. See as soon as you learn the blueprints for them, definitely invest in making some as well as getting them out of airdrops. Because that is, that is truly the best thing to do man because they heal you up. Just, they just heal you up rapid man. I think they put you to full health or like half health or something like that, I don't really know. So I was just looking these corpses just to see if there was anything but that basically was quite good and I found an arrowhead which was good. Good day me when I'm baiting mere arrows. I went in here as well and I was going to grab another pistol and I realised I had no air first aid kits and I was like shit. <laughs> Check the other chest as well in my disbelief and I would have had the blue blueprints for a uh, oh, it, uh, first aid kits. I was like shit. <laughs> what am I doing now? What am I gonna do? So I had a bow and some arrows and I sent my merry way. Painkillers as well, I don't know what painkillers exactly do, I know pet uh, oil makes repair kits which is always a good thing. So I was getting this guy here, he's just deserts by shooting him in the face with an arrow. That's what I mean, these guys can take a beating man, honestly these guys. These guys and the polis can take a beating in this game, the polis zombies just decide to detonate themselves. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of this series ladies and gentlemen, don't forget if you want to be a sentry just join the game, send me a message and feel free to be a sentry. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you'll enjoy this, se you'll enjoy this series and I hope you have a good day and I will see you all in the next episode.